Welcome to the decimal word form mastery check where you are going to check to see if you have decimal word form down. If you need a little more instruction or help or a refresher before you start this, I did a part one and a part two for decimal word form that are more instructional. Okay, and then you can come back to the mastery check to see if you have it down. I dropped the links to the instructional videos in the description. If you've already checked out part one and part two and you're ready to see if you have word form down, then uh, you are ready for this video. So your goal, as you can see, there are 10 decimals below. Your goal is to get seven or up correct out of 10 here. So seven, eight, nine, or 10 correct. So you should have a pencil and paper or a mini whiteboard and a marker, something to write these down with. And when I say pause here in a few seconds, you're going to pause the video and put all 10 of these decimals into word form. And then when you're ready, press play and you'll, you will check your answers with mine. Um, so again, goal is seven, on, seven and up, seven or up, I should say. So go ahead and press pause. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you um, have all 10 of those written down in word form, and we're gonna go over the answers and see how you did. So number one, you should have five and four tenths. Again, if you did this, if you're at this mastery check and you are not ready to do these on your own, I dropped the instructional videos in the description. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about as I go through these, check the instructional video, then come back. Number two, one and 29 hundredths. Now, if you have minor spelling errors as we go through these, don't worry about that. And make sure you have THS at the end of hundredths or tenths or thousandths when we are to the right of the decimal. Number three, eight, oops, forgot my H, eight hundredths. That's a short one there. Number four, Three hundred seven thousandths. Now, one of the most common things I see with fifth graders doing word form for decimals, for example, number four here, would be saying zero and three hundred seven thousandths. If you put that, you do not need to mark that wrong. You are technically correct. If you don't have any whole numbers though, you don't need to say zero and. You can just say 307 thousandths. Now number six, you would have to say and because we have a whole number part. So 14 and 934 thousandths. Number six is a short one up here, two tenths. Again, you do not need the zero and two tenths. You can just say two tenths. Number seven, seven and 71 hundredths. I don't know why my U right here close the top, but that's a U. Number eight, three thousandths. Number nine, 55 and 500 30 one thousandths. And then finally, number 10, 600 and nine tenths. 
Now, if I went a little bit too fast to keep up with me as I went through one through 10, press pause right now and check your answers. All right, so hopefully you had seven or up correct, like I mentioned before. That would show that you have this down pretty well. Um, if not, I would suggest going back to the instructional videos and try these again, okay? Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and drop a comment if there's any material you'd like me to cover. Until next time, peace.